Welcome to my car collection. This is what you're paying for. All right, guys, welcome to my, I have to say, humble office now. How much is this box of watches? This is the, the million dollar closet right here. <laughs> Five years ago, I was actually a taxi driver. Good morning, everyone. So today's a very exciting day. Today, we're meeting a crypto billionaire. We're going to be taking you to his house, to his car collection, and he also has a crazy NFT collection. So right now we are here at Chris's house. So let's go see him. Hello, Yo, my man. man. Hello. Oh, how good. are you, my man? Good right, to guys. see you again. We're here with Chris and let's see how he lives. All right, guys, welcome to my crib. So this is the duplex apartment in the address Skyviews. I really love it. It's to both sides, three balconies. You have a back view, you have the Burj Khalifa view, and it has generally the highest standard you can get with white marble everywhere, massive wood, beautiful artwork. It's actually divided in three parts. So I have the living area where I look at my NFTs because I don't watch TV. The closest to TV I'm watching is, of course, your channel, man. <laughs> yeah, they have the NFTs. I don't know if you guys know, but it's Bored Ape, Bored Ape Yacht Club. Um, digital art. It's worth blockchain. millions almost, you know? Yeah, we have the second area where I'm chilling with guests sometimes. You will see that in the video. I have everywhere these crystals laying around. It's an amethyst. It was a big crystal like this. I paid 100k dirham for it. It came broken. I have a bike in the house. I don't know. I, it, just, it just came with it. And I thought, well, I might as well keep it. This came with the house? Nice. It just came with it, yeah. <laughs> guys, the bike came with the house. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the other NFTs. I don't know if you guys know for those of you that are new to crypto or don't know much, these NFTs are worth a lot of money. They're the best investments you could have done in NFT space, my personal opinion. I, I, I agree actually. How much worth of NFTs do you think you have right now? Like between 15 and 20 million, I think, in NFTs. I, I think that's being very conservative. <laughs> Fun fact, I never sold an NFT in my life. Never. I only bought, I never sold. Guys, today I'm gonna <laughs> buy one of his NFTs. <laughs> he has to sell one. You have to pay 10x market price. No, <laughs> you guys, I'm not selling my NFTs. This is actually not mine, but now it's kind of mine. It's a cognac for $7,000 or something. Oh, it just looks nice. It's nice yeah. to have maybe. Hi guys, one thing I love about this apartment is these big pillars, like it is humongous. By the way guys, this is the best part, the balcony. Yeah, we have two in the front and one in the back with the Burj Khalifa view. I will leave this for the end for you guys because the Burj Khalifa is the one. That's is... the best view. You get to see the biggest building in the world. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep. Yeah, the front balcony is actually the biggest one. Um, you have the sunset view on the left, and on the right side, actually, I like this view also because you see the Shaikh Zayed Road. And I'm so scared buildings. of heights. What's the most expensive thing you own right now, except the cars? Maybe my watches. Watches? Yeah, we, we can go downstairs. I can oh, the watches them, are downstairs? If you want, yeah. All right, let's go, guys. I'm let's excited go. now. <laughs> Here you can see uh, moss on the wall. Uh, that's just the second living room. And by the way, guys, we got banana. banana. Guys, one thing I know about Chris is because the crystal broke, he just put it everywhere in the apartment. You know, he just didn't he didn't give up on it. You know, that's what I want to say. Like, if something goes wrong in life, you can usually turn it around and turn it for the good for yourself. Right? Exactly. So right now we're gonna take you to Chris's office. This is where all the business gets done, all the work. So let's take exactly. Care. All right, guys, welcome to my, I have to say, humble office now, but I really love it to sit here in the evening. You have a cool view, it all lights up. Um, you have a few screens, of course, they are curved. Then whenever I have to sign something, I have my uh, pen here. And of course, important, if you sit on a chair a lot, you have a massage for the feet. Do you actually use that? I use it sometimes, yeah. No way, when you're, when you're working, you stress it. reliever. It's amazing. If you join me outside, I have a very small, also humble gym on my third balcony. I can flex to myself in front of the glass. All right, guys, so right now, Chris is gonna show us his NFT collection. This is a lot of like, it's just a gamble. It can go down, it can go up. I have no clue, I just bought it. What, what is that? Um, it's a seed, so it still has to be revealed and then you see what's coming out. Um, all right, guys, so these are all the clone X's I see. Wow. All these clone X's. Guys, each one of these is like minimum price $80,000 around. Yeah, I wanted to show you the money counting machine. You can select the value. You just put the bills inside. That's just a few bills. And boom, 
Wow. That's how it counts. That's right? really cool. Yeah. All right, guys, now that you saw the apartment, I'm going to show you the pool. Let's go. Let's go. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. All right, guys, so right now we made it to the pool in Chris's apartment. This is crazy. This is the best view I've ever seen in my life. It's the best view I've seen ever in my life. Also, in the best pool, the best part is the coconuts here in the pool in the evening. I like so, guys, when he's bored, he just comes here, relaxes. And this is his view on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, guys, now I take you over to my car collection. Let's check them out. All right, guys, welcome to my car collection. You can see here my McLaren Senna, the G-Class Mansuri, and the Bentley GTC Mansuri. This here is the McLaren Senna, one out of two, red carbon fiber. Price around, right now, I think market price, 1.2, 1.3 million dollars. On the other side, the cheapest, but my favorite car, the Bentley GTC Mansuri. I think I paid like, 600k dollars i don't think i made a good deal but it's my favorite car and i'm very happy about it and i wrapped it in my company colors mm crypto blue i think it's the most comfortable car in the world and also it's my only convertible all right guys next up my three cars this is a g class mansuri one out of one the price is around 4 million dirham 1 point something million us dollars everywhere outside you have um carbon fiber and this actually is hand painted everything here is hand painted this is literally one out of one one of one mansuri g wagon pickup truck exactly because they made it a pickup if you go inside you actually have a star rooftop you can change the colors looks nicer during the night not only that the car is green you also have green lights on the top and on the bottom wow. this is the craziest car i've seen one of one mansuri g wagon pickup truck Crazy, right, man? It's like explosions Damn. on deck. All right, guys, so right now we're going to quickly open up the McLaren. This is honestly the coolest in the collection right now yeah. as, a, as a sports car. Actually, no, the coolest is definitely that, but this is second fastest, best. Fastest, that's for sure. This is the fastest. By far. Now, guys, if you can see, the inside of this car is ridiculous. You've got red carbon fiber, the bucket seats. This is made to race. <laughs> in this car. Hello. That's the only window you have. All right, guys, this is actually my YouTube studio van. The price tag is different than from the other cars, only 200,000, but it's by far the most useful car I have. But the funniest part is you have, you have the coffee machine, you have crystal glasses. These seats, they have a massage function, really comfortable. You can, of course, get some privacy by pulling down the shades. Of course, you can watch movies. And if you want a cold drink, you might as well enjoy a cold drink, right? We have a toilet over here. <laughs> where you can sit down, make some business, wash your hands, of course, make yourself beauty if you are a lady. You know what? I said the, the Bentley is my favorite car. Maybe this is my favorite car. Like I could honestly, if I have food, I could survive in this car for a long time. All right, guys, so now that we're in the van with Chris, what is your story? It's actually crazy. Five years ago, I was actually a taxi driver. Then I found crypto. I started my YouTube channel. It took ages until I made my first money from trading and uh, from the channel itself. And well, now I just constantly grind it. I'm here where I am and very happy about this uh, about this story and about the development. Damn. What's real advice you can give to people? Like real, like beginners, what's your real, I, I know everyone says hold Bitcoin, but someone that actually wants to make it past just holding Bitcoin, how, what can they do? Well, actually my first advice would have been exactly this. Yeah. I have another one also, which I will talk about. The best case scenario for Bitcoin is 100X. If the best case scenario is 100X and your worst case scenario is losing just the 100%, but the best case scenario is a 10,000% upside, it's like very asymmetric. I think just holding for many years is the best. Anyways, thank you, Chris, guys. Thank Honestly, you, great guy in crypto. Watch his videos. If you guys do want to get into the space, definitely check out his videos. Thanks Peace. for watching. Let's bye go. bye.